Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming. In this special request RPG Maker Envy tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to name your weapons in game. So this is a special request for Red Dragon 1656 and he says, is there a way to name a weapon in game? I know you can make a prefix on the default. Uh, an example would be the player is given an option to name his or her weapon to give it a more personal touch. I really like this idea of Re Red Dragon, so let me show you how to do it. It's really simple but you're going to need a couple plugins. So you're going to get Yanfly's core engine, you're going to get Yanfly's item core, Yanfly's expansion for the item core, the item upgrade slots. You're also going to need one more plugin from Dark Kitten called the command input. So once you've got those plugins installed, I'm going to put a link in the description below where you can get all of those plugins you need. You're going to open up the parameters for your plugin. Once you've done that, you're going to edit this variable to be an open space. If you don't know if your variables are open, you can create a new event, right click, insert new, go to variables click on this top three dots right here and find an open space so 36 37 38 all of these would work fine if you don't uh, if you're not using uh, variable 111 then go ahead and select 111 change maximum if you have to uh, if you are using 111 find a free one but keep that number in mind you can hit OK you can hit OK on that we're gonna delete that event that was just to find the, the variable a free variable that we're not using. So let's go back into the parameters of the command input. We're going to select that variable 111 or any other variable you'd like. We're going to select this next parameter and set it to 18. That way the player has a lot of options. I think you can have it up to, to 18 characters. You might even be able to have more, but I think 18 is fine. For use image, we're going to select false. Uh, image name, it doesn't matter because we're not using it. Um, the reason why I said false on this, sometimes the image cuts over the text and I don't really like how it works. Another thing about this plugin, it, it cuts off some of the beginning. So what you have to do is add a few spaces to the beginning right here. Um, what might also be good is if we go like this and then put the parentheses way back here. So we'll put some spaces in here and then we're going to say name your gear like that. Then we're going to hit OK. Make sure you close it off with parentheses. We're going to make sure that all of our plugins are installed in the correct order and turned on. Once we've done that, we're going to go into the database. We're going to add two new items. So the first item is going to use that common event, or the first item is going to call in a common event to use that plugin to call a plugin command. So let's create a new common event. Very, very easy one. We're going to create a new common event on a free one. We're going to call it naming way or whatever you want. We're going to right click, insert new, go to tab three at the bottom, plugin command. In that plugin command, we're going to type in enter underscore text, all lowercase. Then we're going to go to our items and create a new item called the Naming Way Chisel. Give it an icon, a description, let the player know that they need to use this item before they enchant their gear. So we're, uh, we're going to use a, uh, what do you call it, a text notation thingy. So you're going to do forward slash ii and then brackets. You're going to put in a number here. This number that you're going to put in here is going to reflect what item they need before using it. So Naming Way Chisel is going to be the item we use first. And then it's going to say use this item before using the whatever uh, number you want right here for the naming way enchant for our second item. So once you've done the description, we're going to make it a regular item, whatever price you want. This one's not going to be consumable. That way the player is going to be able to use it over and over to change the names so they can name one item this and then the next item's a different name and then they have uh, full control. We're going to give it no scope, but we're going to make the occasion menu screen only. Then we're going to go to the effects on the other. We're going to go to common event and select that naming way common event that we just created. So that's going to be it for the first uh, item. The second item is going to be the enchant itself. This is going to be the item that actually does the evaluation and changes the name. This one is just storing a string into a game variable. So this one, we're going to call it the naming way enchant, give it an icon, and in the description, we're going to let the player know first and foremost, they need to use the naming way chisel to select the name to inscribe first. So this number, that 105 I'm using right here, that's because I've got naming way chisel on 105. You're going to change this forward slash ii to the number where you put your naming way chisel. And on this one, 104, you're going to change this forward slash ii to the, the number that you have your naming way enchant. I hope that was uh, clear. Sorry if I got jumbled in my words. But then we're going to say, then using this item will change the name of your gear. Then we're going to go to the note tags. Uh, it'll be con This one will not be consumable, occasion never, and scope none because we're not directly using this enchant item. It is an item used as an uh, upgrade effect, which will be consumed 
but not directly. It'll be consumed through the plugin itself. So we'll say no, never, none, and leave, leave all these the same, but we're going to put uh, some no tags. We're going to go bracket, capital U on upgrade, space, capital E on effect, close the bracket. We're going to type capital E on eval with a colon. We're going to put a space. We're going to put item.name. Then we're going to put a space and say equals. Put another space. We're going to put a dollar sign and say game. We're going to put variables, but we're going to put a capital V on that variable. Then we're going to put dot value, open parentheses, and then we're going to put in that number that we put in our plugin. So in my case, it's 111. We're going to close it off with the parentheses, and we're going to do a semicolon. Don't mistake the semicolon for the colon, because this is the end line, and this is a this is a defining thing. So we're going to go brackets, forward slash, capital U on upgrade, space, capital E on effect, with closing the brackets. So once we've got this, we'll take note of this number. If you changed your plugin value for your command input, I'll show you one more time. You see my text variable par parameter is 111 right here. So you want to make sure that this number is the same number that's in the eval right here, 111. Once you've got that set up, you're pretty much good to go. Let's go in game and check it out. Let's do a little bug test, see if it's broken. So in this treasure chest, we've got the two items that we need. If we use this now, if we go to our weapon and try to enchant our gun, all variables are set to a, a number value of zero from the beginning. So if we try to enchant our silver, silver gun right now, it's going to name the gun zero. And that's all that's going to happen. But that's why we're saying at the top, use the naming way chisel to select the name to inscribe first. Then we're going to use an item. To ch then using this item will change the name. So let's use the chisel first. And the chisel is also reminding the player that they need to use this before using the enchant. We're going to use that. It's going to open up a command that says name your gear. Now we're going to name our gun whatever we want to call it. We're going to name the gun Drifty. So all this is doing is storing a string in that game variables. So now that string is no longer set to zero, or that variable is no longer set to zero. It's set to a string value with a name of whatever we entered. So now when we use our enchant, our, our enchantment item, which we can't use it directly because we said not consumable. But if we go to weapons and we do our upgrade using Yanfly's plugin, we can enchant the silver gun and it'll name the silver gun Drifty. So hopefully this video was helpful. Thank you so much for the special request. I really like this one. I enjoyed figuring this one out. It took me a little while, but it was well worth it because I think this is cool functionality. And uh, you're awesome for that suggestion. <laughs> if you have any more suggestions, please put it in the comments below. If anybody else has any special requests, uh, put it in the comments below, and I will get to it as soon as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, remember to like, favorite, share, and subscribe. Check out my WordPress. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, all that other mumbo-jumbo. You guys are great. We will see you in the next tutorial.